I have this big old unboxing for you today. It's a handbag. It is a $300 alternative to the YSL Lulu. This particular one would be the large size. Let's get into it. I'm very curious about this one. We're gonna look at it see what fits, do some mod shots, and see what we think. I've been thinking about this bag and getting this bag for several weeks now at least, maybe months actually, and I finally bit the bullet to try this one. Let's unbox it together, let's go through it together, let's figure out what we think, and let's ignore my hair if it's all over the place. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life, which is probably where this item fits in. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. I'm filming this after I just got home from work and Vincent, my parrot, is very talkative at the moment, so I will try not to include any of her annoying sounds, but if you hear any whistling or talking or things like that that don't look like they're coming from me, that is most likely what it is. Oh, and one of the benefits of subscribing is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage, and that's where I put information about sales, discount codes, all that stuff, so you can find great deals just like I do. Although this bag I paid retail for because I haven't seen it on sale yet. So let's unbox it first. Actually, let me give you a little sort of disclaimer first. This one might be going back, might be returned because again, we're in the COVID stuff and it's not a bag I could go see in person. So I'm not certain that I'm gonna like it. Also, there are two other versions of this bag and I'll tell you about those in this video once I unbox this. And I'm not sure that this is the version that I want but the other two, if I remember correctly, at the time that I purchased this were only available from overseas and this one was available from Dillard's. So I purchased this one thinking if I do need to return it, like if I don't like the size and the what fits and structure and all that, then at least I don't have to return it overseas and all the extra trouble that that is. But if I do really like it, then I might wanna return this one and buy one of the overseas ones that I think I might like better. My life is very complicated. Let's get to this unboxing. It is from Dillard's. We're cutting the tape. We're opening the box. We found the receipt. Let there be bubble wrap. And the bag is in here. I will tell you, as was evidenced by the box and by this package, this is a large bag. And I was pleasantly surprised when I first picked up the box how lightweight it is. And it feels nice so far, but it doesn't really matter what it feels like right now because there's plastic and stuff all over it. So let's get it out and see what it is. It is well packaged. It has a piece of cardboard on the front and on the back, and it's wrapped in tissue paper inside of there. And I'm curious about the color of this one because the manufacturer's website, I haven't even told you who makes this bag yet, have I? They have it listed and the third party sellers like Dillard's have it listed as brown. <sighs> But in the photos on the manufacturer's website, it very much looks gray. And in the other photos on third party sites, it looks more like a taupe, like a brown with a gray tone to it. It's very much looking gray to me in this light. And this is, it's set to be like sunlight, so it should be true color. It looks very much gray. Ooh, the leather is so soft. I was hoping that it would be more of the taupe color. So this is one point off for the bag so far, but very soft. It gains a point for that. There's squishiness, and for that, it also gains a point. The lightweightness gains a point. So we've got three points up, one point down right now. Tissue paper is taped at the bottom, and I don't want to rip it in case I am returning it. So I'm going to carefully cut it off as I keep you in suspense about what this is. I will give you a sneak peek. It looks gray, I guess. All right. This, this will reveal it when I take the tissue paper off. Are you ready? Scoot over so you can see the whole thing here. Hmm. A Kurt Geiger Kensington bag in the extra, extra large size. So let me get just some of the basic pieces off here. Ooh, it is really lovely and supple. So Yota got a bag very similar to this recently. She got one of the other versions that I was talking about and I was telling her 
based on videos I've seen and photos I've looked at that it looks like the flap is a little stiff and I thought this bag was going to be kind of stiff but she was telling me oh no once you get it you'll see how soft and squishy and pliable it is and she was right I can tell that right away for sure Ooh, this is very pretty so until I know for sure that I'm keeping it honestly I think this one is probably gonna go back for a different version. I do want to do a wet fits, but I want to probably keep the plastic on here. But I want to do mod shots too, because I, I need to have a feel for the bag to decide if I want it, right? Oh, it's like a pillow. It's so soft. I need to get my things straight. I just want to touch it. It's so soft and like sleep on it. It's lovely. Where to begin? I have a lot to say about this bag and a lot to tell you in the video and, and show you. Let's start by getting it unwrapped as much as I can and still feel okay about returning it if I decide to do that. <clears throat> um, and I'll just show you the inside as it is stuffed. I'm gonna take that stuffing out so that I can do a wet fits for you in a minute and show you the inside. It's actually a little smaller than I was expecting it to be. Came with a dust bag. It has a nice smell to it. It's a leather smell if you like the smell of leather. First, let me give you an overview of the bag, tell you about the different versions that I'm considering. <laughs> let's start with a spin. I'm gonna put the, actually, let's do the dimensions first. I, I usually make notes and this one I got and I just wanted to go straight into the unboxing so I'm a little, a little more disorganized than I usually am. It's 14 and a half inches across the bottom here. It is five and a half inches deep. And then the height is approximately 10 inches. This bag is all leather. It has a textile lining, but the exterior is all leather. And let me give you a spin. It has all that quilting on the front. And this one, this one has a particular quilting with all the stitching there, which I thought would be very structured and kind of rough, and it's not at all. It's super soft and pillowy and lovely. There's a close-up of it. You can see the little eagle head that's a signature of Kurt Geiger, and often those will have crystals on them. This one does not. This particular line, I don't, I don't know what to call it exactly, maybe a colorway. It's sort of like, you know, Chanel's So Black, where it's a black bag with black hardware. This is like that, but they call it drench, where the bag and the hardware are the same color. So you see the eagle is the same color as the bag, and then even the chain is the same color as the bag. So there's the front, there's the side, which looks an awful lot like the YSL Lulu. There's the back, there is no pocket. It is just this very soft leather. It says Kurt Geiger London. There's the other side, a mirror image of the other side. There's the bottom, which does not have feet. It does have a seam down the middle. And this is the only thing so far that's bothering me some. Sometimes when people say a leather is very soft, part of what they mean is that it's thin, where it doesn't feel very durable. And I would say that here, this feels, the bottom feels cheap to me. It feels like a very thin and somewhat vulnerable piece of leather over a piece of cardboard. I've cut open other bags before. Pretty sure that's what I'd find in here. Either cardboard, it's in this bag, it's probably a piece of plastic actually, and not cardboard or a heavy card stock. I think it's probably a plastic because that would be more durable. It has this chain, which you can double. So it has two leather straps on it here. So you could double that and wear it as a shoulder bag, or you could pull it and have one chain to wear as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. And to lift the flap, it has two magnetic snaps, one on each side here. No pockets up here. The interior has two giant compartments. This one, which is larger than the back one, and then the back one. It has an interior divider. It is not a pocket. It's not a zip compartment. You can't, you can't store anything in there. It's just a divider. There's also a slip pocket back here, which is only as deep as my hand will go there. So not even up to my wrist. It doesn't go the whole length of the bag. It would be a great pocket to put a phone in. No pockets in the front compartment. It does have a leather strip around the edge there, and you can see that it has textile lining that says Geiger in a diamond print. The chain, when it comes inside the bag here, loops through a grommet on that center compartment on both sides. I moved the plastic over on this bit so I can see how easily the chain moves through the grommet, and it does move very easily. It doesn't uh, like get stuck on it, so that seems good. The chain, um, 
it's lightweight. It's not, it doesn't feel like a cheap lightweight. It's not like air, but it's not really heavy. That, that must be part of the reason that this bag is not heavy. And I watched a review on the large Lulu today. That person said that that bag was very heavy, even empty. This one is pretty lightweight. All right, I moved all the plastic up here, so now there's none inside there. And the two handles are taped together, so I'm just gonna cut that tape apart. I can always tape it back later if I need to. So now you can see you can do it by two handles like this or one handle, and that was very simple to move the two doesn't take any effort at all. Okay, let me tell you about the other versions of this bag that I was thinking about. So again, see the quilting on this? It's all the same quilting. It's a smaller, in relation to the other ones that I'm about to show you, it's a smaller quilting that goes over the entire front of the bag, the flap and the front. And the back and the sides don't have the same quilting, except for this part of the front of the bag that folds over here. Now, when I started looking at the Kensington XXL, the first one that caught my attention was this one, where the quilting on this is massive, right? It looks like a big pillow. It's kind of like the Lulu Puffer. And I was seriously considering this bag for a little while. There's a great review on this bag by Girl in Pursuit. I will link her video below. A very thorough, informative review on it. I'm very interested in that bag. The only thing is I'd really prefer to have it in black with silver hardware, and they currently don't offer it in that combination. They do also have this bag in this sort of camel color, but it still has the antique gold hardware, and again, for that color, I would prefer the silver. Been more into silver lately than gold. There's also uh, the same bag in a teal with silver hardware, but that doesn't really go with my wardrobe, so that's not one I would consider. And you notice how on this bag, it's the same thing where it has the one pattern over the whole thing, but it's the giant puffs, right? The giant quilting. So there's a third option for this bag, and that's this one. This is the one that Yota got, um, but this is the black and silver, which is the color combination I'm looking for. So you see on the bottom panel or the front panel, it has the chevron, which is a large quilting. It looks very soft and smushy, which is what I want from this bag. But then the top flap, is a tighter weave. And also that eagle's head is enormous on this bag. It's more normal size on the other two. So my hesitations about this one are the giant eagle head. I wish it was normal sized. And also I wish that the quilting was the same on the top and bottom. It's pretty looking at it like that where it's two different quilts, but I just would really like the large puffy quilting on this particular bag. When I was first looking at the three different options, this was my least favorite because it has the small quilting all over it. But I really liked the color when I thought it was more brown, not gray. Gray goes with my wardrobe, but I, I have had a gray bag before and I never reached for it. So I'm hesitant to add a gray bag to my collection. But of course I didn't know it was gray until I got it and unboxed it because it said it was brown and it looked brown. So that's what I was hoping it was. And it's not kind of torn. I am, I'm leaning toward sending this one back and getting one of the black bags, but it's still difficult to decide whether I want the silver, which is really what I want, but do I really want that giant eagle head or do I want the giant puffs everywhere, but then have the antique gold that I don't really want. I'm also wondering on the the black and silver bag, the one I'm leaning most toward, the bottom on that bag is so puffy and then the top is the tighter quilting and well, I really like how that looks in person. I, I don't know. I'm really, I'm having a lot of trouble making up my mind about this. So that's why I ordered this is to see if I even like the bag at all, the size and the carrying it and what fits. So let's get to the what fits because that may rule all the options out, who knows. All right, so what I'm hoping is that I can use this bag as a work bag. I've gotten to where I really like these flat bags, shoulder bags with the chains and all that. I think they're really pretty and they're really functional. But the smaller ones that I have, like the Edie, they don't work well as a work bag for me, especially during COVID, I've been carrying more things. This is what I've been carrying this week. I tend to go to work with a giant tote packed full, I mean, full of stuff. So I'm gonna start pulling things out of this and see what fits into the Kurt Geiger Kensington XXL bag. Okay, the first thing on the top is a sweater. 
and this is a necessity every day at work but this is a sweater that is like almost knee length so I don't think that'll fit in one of these compartments. I'd have to put that in my rolling cart that I take to work. So I'm gonna just toss that aside and we'll see what else I have in this bag that I could fit into the Kurt Geiger. Oh, another thing that I was curious about, about these bags, the Kensington, and you'd have the same problem on the YSL Lulu, is the way that the chain attaches to that center compartment. You see it blocks part of the back compartment, and I call that center compartment. On this bag, it's just a divider. It's not a compartment. But you see how it gets in the way, so I wonder how annoying that would be. We might find out here. Okay, first I have a little COVID kit. So I'll take that and put it somewhere in here. I am noticing as I set this bag down, it is super squishy and it just falls over. I like that about it. I think knowing what's in my big bag, I'm gonna put this up front. And then I have I have this coach. I think it's, I think it's called the Boxy Cosmetic. It's in gold. Um, I got that from the Coach Outlet. It is an outlet item. I put that up front. Now, see, I was thinking this bag would be big enough for me to put them like this, and it's not. Um, it's not even big enough to put them like this. So, I'm learning things. And then it's not deep enough in the front compartment to put them like that. I'd rather not have to stand this one up like this, but maybe I have to. Okay, so it does fit if they're like this. Now, most of the rest of what's in here is work stuff. I have this pouch that has some technology and I put my car keys in there during the day. I have my Bose headphones. I have a portable hard drive. I have my Agenda PM. My giant Tory Burch sunglass case with sunglasses on well, my wallet. I need that, that should go up front. There's some receipts in the bottom that I don't need. And my phone, I put that in that back pocket that I said would be good for a phone, and it is. Okay, let's start with the biggest items. Bose headphones in the back. And I can scoot those over to the side. I think I'll have to put my sunglasses up front. This bag is not holding as much as I thought it would. I'll put my hard drive in the back and then my technology pouch on top of that. Will that fit? The phone is in the way a bit. Sticks out, but it's squishy. I can fold it over. Agenda PM. Let me show you this. It's very full at this point. It's, I mean, that's pretty much all the space in it. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't hold more. There is still room for this. I could slip that in the back as well. So all that's in there, the agenda's there. The phone is in the pocket right back there. Um, underneath the sunglasses, I have my COVID kit, Bose, whoops, the tech pouch, Bose headphones, the cosmetic. Where's my wallet? Did I put that in there somewhere? Oh, interesting. Feeling around the bag for my wallet. When I get to, from the inside of the bag, when I get to this triangle here, you can tell that <clears throat> there's something in that triangle to give it structure, like a piece of plastic or something. It'd be nice if there was a pocket for that to go in. I mean, I can get it in the back pocket with my phone, but not really the ideal place for it. And then it takes up a lot of space in the big back compartment because it eats into that, I'll show you. So you can see the wallet and the phone back there eat into the space of that compartment. So there's everything in there, definitely no room for a sweater. And will it even close that full? Okay, when I just set the flap over it, it looks like this. The snaps are nowhere near each other. So let's see if we can pull that together. Definitely takes some effort. Uh, I don't have to pull it where I feel like I'm hurting it at all, but it doesn't easily fall over into place. And here it is stuffed. You can tell it's stuffed. There's things in there and it's all poofed out. I mean, look at the back of it. That doesn't make me super happy. Okay, let's do some mod shots and see how heavy this is and how it looks stuffed. Because it's one thing if you model the bag when it's empty, it's another when you have it full. And I am 5'3". All right, here it is with the double strap. Now I've had big flat bags like this before and I thought, that they just, as the bag themselves, they don't look real proportional. I have felt like the flat bags 
tend to look better when they are smaller bags. However, I thought this one was a pretty nice looking one. Now when it's this full, my arm over it sticks out quite a bit from my body. Also, one thing I was thinking, I'm not a small person, talking about round waves, and that maybe this larger bag would look more proportional on me than it would on someone who is more of an ideal weight for her height. So I, I do think that this size looks good on me. That works. And then let me show you with one strap. Okay, so this sits Let's see, my waist is up here. This is the bottom of my hip. So it sits right at the bottom of my hip. I would not be able to reach the bottom of the bag like that without, did I reach it? No, I can reach the bottom. I, of course, I'm sort of pulling the bag up by the flap a little bit, but I can reach it. Now see, I can't snap it like this, it's too full. If I take my sunglasses out, can I? Okay, so part of the reason I can't snap it is because the flap is being pulled down in the center because it's attached to those things. So I, I kind of need to release that pressure or that strain to be able to pull the flap forward more to go out. And again, I'm having trouble getting it to snap. And I just rearranged the pouches in the front and I had the, that's still an issue. I, part of the problem I'm seeing too is that when you have things sticking up toward the top of the bag in the front compartment, like if you have taller items, they prevent you from smushing the front flap in so the top flap can reach over. Does that make sense? Yeah, you, you definitely, in the configuration that I have it now, have to put the bag down and fiddle with it to be able to close it back up again. It is kind of annoying to have two snaps uh, it'd be nice if there was just one. That would be one of the advantages of the Lulu having that one snap in the center. But otherwise, it's pretty. And I like the look of it. Oh, let me try it crossbody too. And even with all this stuff in it, once I have it on, it doesn't feel that heavy on my shoulder there. Now, crossbody, this is not comfortable. <laughs> this is huge, it sticks out way too far look at that um it's in the way and it sits up too high i would not wear this crossbody gosh i don't know i'm well, let me sit back down okay i i will return this one but i am still despite some of these issues with the what fits i'm still interested in one of the black ones and i'm still on the fence about which one <laughs> or do i need both of them and actually, let me go look in the mirror for a second so I can see this on myself without the bright lights in my face because they blind me. I'll be right back. Okay, I was wondering how this would be without it being packed. So I just took everything out except, I guess I should just show you. I have the coach pouch up front, my COVID pouch in the back with my phone in the pocket, and then I moved my wallet up front. So at the moment, it has the basics that I needed to carry. And I could still put things in like my sunglasses. Actually, just let me do that. And my Agenda PM, I'll put that in the back. So now it looks like that in the front and that in the back compartment. So I was wondering how it would look and feel without so much stuff in it. And it definitely feels a lot better. My arm is not sticking out five feet from my body. I like that better. Um, I mean, it's... It means I wouldn't be carrying what I thought I'd be carrying in a large bag. If I was to use it more as just an everyday handbag, then it definitely works. And I know that I can put the other stuff in it for work, and then I could take that out and use this as a handbag. And people have said that this is a great size for the Kensington and for the Lulu for travel. With the what fits that I just did, that makes me skeptical. I feel like Airplane travel, um, I've taken my Neverfull before, my Neverfull MM, and that would hold more than this would. And certainly people take the Neverfull GM all the time. I need to get one of those more than either of them. My conclusion at this point, send this one back, get a black one, but which one? Which one, guys? Would you pass on these and spend, let's see, Fashion File has 
a large Lulu right now in a khaki. It's like a dark military green. It's lovely with silver hardware. That bag is a little bit smaller. It's like an inch smaller than this one. It would hold even less. And they have that for a little more than $1,700. So there's a price difference between that bag and this bag of $1,400. So if you were me, or no, scratch that because you're not me, if you were you, would you spend $1,700 on the Lulu, almost the same bag as this, or would you spend $300 on one of the black bags and then have the other $1,400 to buy a Neverfull or, or put in the bank or whatever, buy dog cookies? Speaking of, look who it is, guys. It's Roxy. Roxy, you've been highly requested. Here she is. Are you happy? Now you've seen Roxy. Up close and personal. Say hello. Say hello, Roxy. Hello, Roxy. You're gonna do a dance? Do a YouTube dance. Oh. My sweet girl. Mm. I'm gonna put you down now, okay? That's enough torture. You ready to go back down? You ready to go back down on the floor? Okay, that brings us to the end of another fun-filled video with yours truly. Autumn Beckman, and guest star Roxy. Sound effects by Vincent. And we've been stood up by special guest Baron, who would prefer to stay in his dog bed on the floor. Jewelry provided by Jill Maurer, jillmaurer.com, 15% discount code in the description box below. I'll also put a link for this bag on Dillard's and for the other bags on the Kurt Geiger US website. If you are in the UK, if you are fortunate enough to be over there instead of over here, then you have access to more options from Kurt Geiger. I think they have other XXL options for you, which may make my life just more difficult, but also more fun because they are relatively more affordable bags when you're comparing something like this with something like the Lulu. I'm filming this on a Thursday night after work. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I've been waiting a long time to see this bag in person, and there are things that I'm more impressed with it than I thought I would be, but other things that I'm like, I wish it held more. That's the main thing. But I do love the structure of it. That's really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.